Sculpture Craft and Design Reform looks at Victorian sculpture from two related angles. Firstly, from the perspective of the revival of craft practices in the period, such as wood carving, but also in relation to genuinely folk arts, like Victorian leatherwork. The course also looks at the way in which sculptures engage with industry. Traditionally, critics have thought this led to a decline in quality, but I think that's wrong. Furniture became very sculptural in the 19th century. Indeed, it's the great age of sculptors working on chimneys and fireplaces. And the government thought that manufacturers needed sculpture, just as sculptures could address a broad audience through manufacture. As a result, the course is full of weird and wonderful things. Statues made of iron, busts made of glass, a six-foot ceramic elephant, and jewellery made by the late Victorian sculptor Alfred Gilbert. And we take those objects seriously, trying to understand them on their own terms, as well as trying to think about why we might need to look at them again now.